Hello everyone, Andy from Event Horizon here, so today I just want to talk about something that's going to be very useful to you. I think this is going to be amazing for account progression and especially gear farming, so strap on because we're gonna talk some real shit. So. What I want to talk about is the Gear Raid 3 friends that's about to come up very soon. And in case you guys don't know, the Gear Raid Frenzy is an event where certain sets of uh, or certain uh, item sets are going to have a higher drop chance. And the Gear Raid that uh, they can be farmed from, it's going to have stamina cost reduced. So. Um, I don't think it's uh, a coincidence that today's or this weekend's banner is uh, Hatset and Artemis and the upcoming uh, Gear Raid Frenzy is going to be Gear Raid for Gear Raid 3 because Hatset is very very good in Gear Raid uh, 3 on the right side. Uh, I was lucky enough to get Hatset actually uh, today so I'm very very happy about that. I was stuck at Gear Raid 319 and now I've progressed up until Gear Raid uh, 321. Um, I will show you how to do that in advance, but uh, just know that uh, during uh, the event period, uh, again, the gear sets that uh, are going to be increased, uh, have increased drop rate, in, is going to be the Fracture set, the Doom set and the Infernal Roar set. So, especially the Infernal Roar set and even the Fracture set are quite good. The Doom set is kind of niche, I mean, it works if you are stuck uh, between mid game and uh, late game like in between those you're like you're almost into the late game but not quite yet but the infernal roar and the fracture set is very 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 important and creating a very nice um, a very nice uh, layout and auto fight layout for uh, the upcoming uh, curate frenzy is going to be mandatory because it's going to help you a lot so since I just managed to clear it, uh, even though it took me a few hours, I'm actually going to show you how uh, how I'm doing it. Uh, bear in mind it's going to be power of dominance, um, so activated. The power of dominance is going to be activated, so bear that in mind. But if I manage to do it with the same heroes and the same gear that I'm doing right now, because nothing has changed, you are gonna be able to do it as well. I just don't want you to have to watch me try to complete it again uh, after two hours of uh, tries. So uh, I'm just gonna use, use power of dominance now. So. Um, I'll show you how to go for gear rate 3 really quickly um, and uh, afterwards uh, you will be able to prepare for the upcoming gear frenzy, gear rate 3 frenzy where you'll be able to farm and obtain uh, um, the gear. So uh, right now I was doing gear rate 2 just because I wanted to uh, get myself up uh, higher into the ultimate oracle because um, if you guys probably already know, I'm uh, using a strategy to get as many summons as possible, as quickly as possible, and get being first in every single uh, Oracle trial is part of my guide. Uh, another thing that I want you to bear in mind, uh, don't forget to buy the huge stamina potions discounted from the shop as well, and the father, but uh, now specifically the huge stamina potions in advance uh, from the arena shop as well because you're going to need them you're gonna want to have a lot of stamina in order to um, do as many gear rate trees as possible during the gear frenzy so enough talk let's go into the gear rate so gear rate 3 uh, stage 21 my layout is going to be composed out of uh, dolores volca uh, this little guy over here laurel um, hello, Broker, Lunaria, uh, Itril, Silas, Nyx, and our newest addition to the account, Hatset, which I managed to skill up to the max and put some decent gear on her, uh, but nothing too too crazy. So um, let me show you how how it is. So Hatset, nothing too crazy. She's crit capped with plus 122.5 crit damage. Um, has a decent amount of attack speed. Uh, besides that, Silas is in an Inferno Roar set. Again, not even crit capped, but it works. Um, the crit damage is close to 160%, plus 160%. Uh, then there is, uh, let me just mute Discord really quickly. Um, 
There is also um, not hex, also nix, which has a broken set, but mainly I just focused on as much attack speed as I could master, a crit cap and a little bit uh, crit damage as well. Lunaria is going to be in uh, invigoration set because I'm going to help mix with some extra 10% stuff. Uh, there it is, Lunaria in an Invigoration set, Hollow an Invigoration set again. Um, then uh, Laurel is going to be uh, just there to be deployed and picked up again, but she's, in also, she's also in an Invigoration set because it helps with the damage. Uh, who else? Uh, Broker. Broker is built like a tank with a lot, like I mean a lot of HP. Uh, where is this? the details? There you go. So he has close to 100,000 HP, if not even exactly that. Uh, then there is uh, no one else. Volka is there just to provide her passive, in case you don't know. Volka provides a passive in which uh, she de decreases the amount of respawn time or respawn time for uh, heroes that you pick up or heroes that die. So. Um, Idril, there you go. Idril is also, um, I changed the set now recently, but she was in um, um, this Inferno Roar set. So, uh, yeah, very, very important for Idril to be in an Inferno Roar set because otherwise she's not going to be able to dish out enough damage to clear out the upcoming heroes on the right side. So, um, let's start with the strategy, right? So. Again, bear in mind, Power of Dominance is activated because I don't want to uh, have you to wait until I get it right again after two hours or three hours in which I kept trying. So, Idril and Dolores first. You'll want to wait until you can summon Silas as well on the left side. So we wait for Silas, we, s we place him on the left side. We're gonna ult with uh, Idril and Dolores. We can even ult now with Idril and uh, do it with Dolores after she, the right side guy comes up. Bam, bam. And after a little bit of time, actually I'm not even going to ult for with Silas, but for the sake of the video, since during my uh, trial I ulted with Silas as well. I ulted with Silas a little bit late, just because I want Silas to dish out a little bit more damage into the boss as well, sort of a little bit of his ultimate sticks to the boss as well. Um, then we put down, we put down uh, Laurel, we pick up Laurel, just because we, got, we only want the cost generation. Very important, you want to, even you can, if you, I can summon Nyx now, I won't summon Nyx yet, because we want uh, the boss to hit Silas first once, and we put down Nyx as soon as you see the boss um, raise her hand. Then we are going to wait to activate Dolores and drill together again. Uh, the next part is going to be composed out of hollow, put down hollow. So when you use hollow, we actually want hollow just because uh, it's going to help us regen Silas's, Idril's and um, Dolores's ultimate faster besides the cost, the, the laurel cost generation. So right now, after we place hollow down, we use Idril, we use Nyx. We then use Idril and Dolores because we're gonna be able to burst down these mobs over here. We use Hollow and then focus on this one. There we go. We are gonna place down Laurel and then we're gonna pick her up. We're gonna use Silas's ultimate. We're gonna put down. Um, we're gonna put down Mr. Broker over here. I wanted to say Olog, but uh, um, if uh, you have Olog, Olog is going to be quite a good uh, replacement for uh, for Broker. If you don't have Broker, we use uh, Dolores. I forgot to place the, to use her as well. The boss should be down now. Uh, might be a little bit slightly off just because I didn't use Dolores ultimate in time. We we'll place down uh, headset, our newest edition, uh, right about now. We use Idril. Bam, bam, bam. 
and that should be it with the boss we can pick up silas we can pick up broker and that's pretty much going to be the fight we activate hollow's ultimate so it generates a little bit more of uh, dolores's ult we're gonna use our that's it ult because power of dominance is activated this is just way easier and after headset ults you pick her up pick uh, Laura up we usually want to place Lunaria over here so we can give invigoration bonus to Nyx and now usually the boss should still be up but uh, since we have power of dominance activated we burst it down pretty quickly now we ult with Adriel and Dolores as soon as this guy spawns we ult with Nyx as soon as the guys on the left spawn and we ult with Hollow because even though the ultimates are activated Hollow is going to help with the uh, regen um, ult regen even though dur even during the ultimates so that's going to be helpful we put down Laurel, we pick her up, we ult with Miss Dolorel, Dolores again, Dolorel, we place down headset for the right side and this should be pretty much it, this should be the fight. So uh, even though I had power of dominance activated, you can follow the same guide and the same rotation as I did because that's exactly how I did it anyway without power of dominance and um, yeah that's basically it there's also quite a very good uh, video on how to do kill a3 using Aram and uh, Dalin um, by uh, Mr. Fastidious if you want to check it out but uh, I'm gonna provide you with some uh, alternatives if you feel like it so if you want uh, so on the left side instead of Nyx you can use Pelagios or uh, Razak in terms of legendaries So instead of Nyx you can either use Razak or Pelagios. I don't have Pelagios, but uh, he's the uh, Arbiter uh, marksman uh, The guy that looks like a mermaid, but is a male <laughs> uh, Triton I guess um, Or uh, you can use Maul as an epic if you have neither of those legendaries. Maul is the northerner marksman, the shark looking fella over here. So this guy. Uh, that's for the left side. For the right side, I think you can use also a Laura. Um, but to be completely honest, I wouldn't use anything else but Hatset. Hatset is very 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 good and uh, for the right side so if you can use if you have Hatset, use Hatset. Um, Alora can work as well but uh, in case you don't have neither Alora nor Hatset, you should be very very focused on uh, improving Idril's gear and putting uh, the best Infernal Roar that you can because if you have good enough gear with uh, Idril you can actually deal with the right side uh, anyway without any nece necessary hero for example uh, you can just burst down uh, the middle boss and then put, pick up Silas and put, it, uh, put him on the right side to help with Idril um, for the last uh, mobs but uh, yeah that's for the right side for the middle side instead of uh, Silas you can use Calypso uh, so I've seen some people use arrogance as well but that is uh, a little bit more niche uh, and it's going to take up the space for an actual tank um, instead of Calypso or Silas I think if you build, I've seen a very cool guide of a guy that used uh, that used uh, Brienne. Even though it's going to be way harder with Brienne, and it's going to be require uh, a lot more uh, gear. And um, that I think that's pretty much it for the alternatives of the center side, the main DPS. Uh, each one is going to be mandatory. If you don't, if you have Aracha, for example, or Araka. 
um, uh, use her instead of Lunaria, but also make sure to put an uh, invigoration set as well out there. Just uh, know that you won't be able to put Araka down behind Nyx, so keep that in mind. And instead of Hollow, you, I think you can also use Halloween, even though I have Halloween and I still prefer Hollow. Be just because, I don't know, I just preferred it in this fight for some reason. Um, so uh, yeah, hacks can work, but on the middle side instead of Silas, but uh, since he's not really truly an, a marksman, uh, that's going to be way harder because he takes quite a lot of time to cycle throughout through his cards. But if you have hexes, um, if you have hexes exclusive artifact, that's going to make it a lot easier, and you can replace for sure Silas with hex. And another one that can work uh, in the middle with instead of Silas is Mr. Setram. Uh, again, make sure that you cycle his ults and time his ults carefully and place a very good gear on him so um, yeah that's going to be pretty much it the mandatory heroes are going to be uh, in my opinion Idril, uh, Laurel, Dolores and Hatset even though you can also do deal with Alora but arguably I'd say do not replace Hatset and the others that you can replace are Hollow with Halloween, Broker with Olog um, or even arrogance who knows if you build him tank enough um, maybe you can put down uh, you can replace Prokir with uh, Volka to be more tanky uh, to be build a tanky Volka build and instead uh, with the free, uh, freed up space you can actually add Orem or Talon uh, then you can replace if you want as an alternative Araka with uh, Lunaria or vice versa, Silas with Calypso, Setrum, Hex. Um, yeah, uh, Prien maybe as an alternative. Uh, and uh, Nyx with Pelagios, uh, Razak, or Maul. That works. In my opinion, if you don't want Nyx, you can and have a Maul, you can use Maul. Maul is more than reliable on the left side. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget, this is especially in order to help you complete gear 8 stage 21, just so you can prepare yourself for the gear frenzy, which is going to be very useful. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if uh, this was helpful. Let me know if uh, you guys want to see another guide on a specific area of the game. Don't forget to like, to subscribe. Uh, this has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. See you guys. Oh yeah, and also don't forget to comment. I read every single comment that I that I that I see. So see you guys. Have an amazing weekend.